So secondly, account histories. We don't want um, people shouldn't be able to access account histories and even create an account history. So I'm copying this. We'll do the same thing for account histories. If you scroll up here, you see how it's done. Account histories. So we're gonna do account histories index account histories create, and then we have to do the account histories controller. Account history controller. Account history. Account history. Beautiful. So, nobody should be able to create an account history and nobody should be able to view all account histories. Nope, we don't want it. And um, that's beautiful. The next thing we can do is um, check our transactions. If we go to transaction, transaction, we will see that there's something. This is just spitting out all the transactions. If you come to transactions, it just spits out all the transactions. No, we don't want all the transactions spit, uh, spitting on the page. What we want is to see um, if you're a user, normal user shouldn't see all the transactions. Do you understand? Only admin should be able to see everybody's transaction. A normal user should be, should be able to see only transactions pertaining to them. So now we're going to do that. We're going to do transactions create. Okay, first of all, let's check who is viewing this. To check it, we're going to say if auth user role ID, oops, user role underscore ID is less than three. That means this person is a moderator. So um, they should be able to view all transactions. So view all transactions. So let me even write it here. So if you pull this, admins should be able to view all transactions. All right. But then if you're not an admin, else, if you're not an admin, uh, we're going to pull only special transactions for you, which is the, the transaction that is related to what you are doing, which is where transactions, where user ID is the ID of the current user, which is uh, is an auth user ID. Beautiful. So you see only transactions that are related to you. We need to import transaction here. So we'll do use app models transaction. Then we also need to import auth, use auth. And we're good. So just to cross check what we did one more time, transaction, I'm cross checking the spelling. So only admin, if you're an admin, you see all transactions. But if you're not an admin, you see your own transactions. Beautiful, beautiful. So now um, let us see if there's something else we need to do about that. But generally the way we initially approach this, which made a lot of sense, is that um, you can only see your transactions when you go to your profile for instance if you go to your profile you will see your transactions you don't need to come to transactions index so i'm going to remove this transactions really uh account histories dot index route not defined this is beautiful so we can come to our web.php and look at account histories oh no wonder no wonder, no wonder. Reload. Okay, so cool. Then we have um, QR codes. All all the users transaction is on their uh, on their profile, so we don't really need this transaction um, pay uh, URL. It shouldn't point to transaction. It should point to user profile. Um, then the same with QR codes. If somebody clicks on QR code, they shouldn't see all everybody's QR code. They should see only theirs. So we should just do the same thing, this exact same thing we did on tra QR transactions. So we're gonna just go and copy. We had transactions. We we'll copy this and um, go to QR codes. If you click on QR code. No, QR code index. This is index. Okay. Only admin.
should be able to see that otherwise QR codes equal to um, QR code where the user ID let's go ID is me which is the person that is logging user ID this is beautiful so um, only admin can see all admin should see all QR codes or only admin I think this sorts everything out um, so far I don't think there's any other thing we're missing except that profile user profile is missing here this is not even clickable user profile is missing so not many users will know that they have to come here to go to their profile where, where they can access everything no so we're just gonna put my my profile or profile here so we come here and then in the resources use account um, layouts we're gonna come to menu so we'll create our profile the first one control V I duplicated it so the first thing I want to see is profile I'll call it um, users and um, users not index users um, route should be like this comma block brackets then do ID then this then we can sorry auth user ID cool so we're trying to see this guy's user this guy's account and uh, we're gonna call it profile my profile and um, we have an error where QR code factory where um, to undefined method okay okay sorry um in our qr code controller we used where here okay uh because we changed the name it's not qr code it's qr code model so i'm um, here qr code model reload and then users not found we have round undefined users all right because um in a menu in a menu instead of users it should be user.show look at it users.show and we we'll refresh beautiful so there's now my profile beautiful so if you now click on this uh very it's not very intuitive the user comes they see their full details and then they can see everything and click on transactions if you want to see transactions separately accounts only admin should be able to see accounts i hope we made it like that really only admin should be able to see accounts and account history so we're gonna port out accounts and put it under the role of um, moderators once you're a moderator you can see accounts and account history but what you can see here is just my account so apart from my profile which is at the top we can see accounts accounts account this should be plural too. Accounts show same thing we did. It's going to show my account. This can be a little tricky because we don't have access to the user's account ID. So we're going to create a new um, URL. I think we should do that in the next video.